Hey everybody, it's Adam Claremont. Welcome back to another quick tip. Now this time I wanna focus on showing you some of the ways that I will manipulate audio to reduce plosives when I've got like a popping P or one of those low frequency rumbles and some dialogue or a vocal track. Now we're not gonna talk about the recording side, how to reduce that. We're gonna talk about this in the post side when you've gotta deal with it in a real world situation. So if you like videos just like this one, Pro Tools tips, how to be a better engineer, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I've got videos every week coming to you just about this. So hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single one of them. Also check out this playlist right up here. It's got a whole bunch of other quick tip videos for you that you might like. All right, so why don't I take you into the Pro Tools screen and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so here we are inside Pro Tools. Now you're going to want to use a pair of headphones to listen to this or a good set of studio monitors, you're probably not going to hear a huge difference if you're checking it out on your phone or through a laptop speaker. So just getting that out of the way. So I've got a couple examples here for us, all right? Um, I wanna start with this one, check this out. I think people like us, I, I think people like- All right, so you hear people, right? We got a problem with the people. A lot of peas are culprits. So uh, let's just try a couple different things. Okay, so- People like us. One of the things that we could do is a high pass, right? So let's check that out. Let's just throw an EQ on here. Actually, let's just do the filter, let's do that. All right, and let's pop this baby up to like, say like 120, something like that. People like us. People like us. So that didn't, People like us. That didn't do such a bad job, but it's a little thin, right? People like us. So, that's one thing we can do. Let's bypass that though. I think we can get a little bit better. Let's go up to um, audio suite and let's try and get uh, those P's contained on just their own instead of doing um, you know, the full phrase with a high pass. So let's do this 120 thing again. And this is something you wanna play with the slope and the frequency, right? So let's just hit render on that. We'll do the same thing here. I'm not worried about getting it just so because we can always trim out. I think people like people like us. Uh, people like so the first people one people like us. Uh, not so people bad. People like I think people like this one's still a little poppy. So we can also clip gain these things down. So right here, a clip gain fader, right? Let's bring it down just a touch. I'm just kind of visualizing this. I'm gonna actually bring this one down just a touch too. I think people like us. Uh, think people like us. Uh, That's not so bad. We might want to put some fades in there now. I think people like us. Uh, I think people like us. Uh, I think people like us. So where did we come from? We came from here, right? People like us. Yeah, so that's a lot better. So that's one way we can do it. You know what else we can do? Uh, let's just get this stuff out of the way. If you've got Pro Tools Ultimate, we can use our clip effects. So we're not using Audio Suite. We're not using a plugin. We're using clip effects. We can do the same thing here. If you're so inclined, we got our filter on. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, that number one, I always forget that thing. So again, let's just do 120. Let's do the same thing over here. Turn it on, 120. Okay. People like, I think people like. Yeah, this first one, see, it's still a problem. So I think you still got to clip gain a little bit. People like. And then, so, you know, again, like I mentioned, you're going to try a couple different things. One size does not fit all, one size does not fit all with plosives. Another thing that really helps is, let's uh, get out of this. Let's wipe that out again. So another thing that helps is a fade. Maybe we just get away with a fade and probably something like this guy. People like Not a cross fade, an actual fade. Let's make it kind of like that. People like That's not so bad either. Think people like I think people like us. Still a little bit of rumble there though. So what if we went back with our filter over here, the plugin? Think people like us. Think people like us. That's not so bad. Think people like us. Or, you know, you could try like we had before with the audio suite uh, filter in just these spots with the fade. That might do it as well. Think people like us. You know, I guess, again, you're going to try a couple of these things. Combination of fade, filters, clip gain, um, all that stuff can be your friend. Now, also, let me show you another thing because not all plosives sound the same. So your method of attack to reduce that plosive will also change a little bit, right? So check out this one. Like I want to cry about cry. About You're the k so it's it's not so much like a p like a plosive. It's actually the breath coming out, pouring out of the k, and hitting that microphone diaphragm, 
and kind of overloading it a touch. Cry, cry, cry. So, you know, we've got, let's just do this again. So we've got, actually this filter is actually already in. And take that out. Cry, cry, cry. So you can hear the rumble. Cry. Take care of the cry. rumble. Cry. But there's still a little bit of that ugh, stuff in there. Cry. It's kind of ugly. So let's get rid of this. Um, actually, let's just put in bypass. So you know there's this one plugin that is really useful that we sometimes forget. And it's called delete. If I pop this in shuffle. If I stake out that part, you can visually see the part that's the problem. I wanna cry, a cry, a wanna cry. A so that's not so bad. It's a little jarring. Cry. You're losing a little bit of the R. I wanna cry, a wanna cry. A I'm not really all that mad about that though. Some of you may have a different opinion there. That's fine. Again, we're just gonna try and finesse this with whatever means we have necessary, but sometimes. Cry. Yeah, so you can start to see it come back when you move the fade. I wanna cry I'm not super mad at that. I wanna cry about. So that's a thought. You can go with deleting. And that would also work with these guys over here as well if you want to try that. Um, and then there's one last thing that I'll show you, which I love, which you have to purchase. But check out um, if you have the Isotope uh, audio restoration bundle. Uh, and you check out, they've got this Isotope audio suite version of the D plosive. Here it is. Now, their factory default comes up at 200, but let's check that out. I want to cry about, I want to cry about, I want to cry. That's not so bad, right? That worked pretty good. Usually, in my opinion, I think 200 is set a little bit high, but uh, I, what, what I've actually done is I've made my own default. I got a 120 for this deplosive. And then what you can do in, under here is you can set under systems, uh, system preferences, set plugin default to user setting rather than factory setting. So now every time I pull this up, I'll show you. Like if I want to use my default setting and I pull it up. There it is. So I don't have to like change this every time. But this is really helpful, you know, and it's super, super quick. And in fact, the way that I work, I've got a gaming mouse and I program this specific audio suite plugin to open up, render and close all its own with just one button. So it's even quicker, something you could try. Um, but that works really good. I'll, I'll show you over here really quick. So you check this out. Like if you would just grab this and I've got my one button, it opens up, renders just like that. People like us. That's not so bad. I think people like us. You know, so there's a few options for you. Like I said, you're gonna try and finesse this it takes a little bit of time, you know, between your fades, clip gain, uh, filters, and don't forget the delete button, all right? So I hope that helps you out. Let me know in the comments below how you attack these things and what gives you the most trouble and what gives you the most success. Would love to hear it. Would love to get better at doing this myself. We can't always get it right in the recording. We don't always have control over that. Sometimes people give us what they give us and we just gotta make it better. That's our job, fix problems, all right? So I hope that was helpful. I will catch you on the next one. Thanks, talk to you then, bye.